Hey. What about uh, what if instead of Pokemon it was Pokemon? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Pokemon what? Pokemon. Uh, oh shit! What edition is that? Yeah, shit, bro. You, man, this uh, this edition. <laughs> Man, this edition forty second in, in Eastvale. This is what we've been talking about since the beginning. Edition from the boat. We've been talking about this. <laughs> <laughs> That's why we don't know how to swim. They cut our Achilles. They is cut that, my Achilles. Ain't that right, Florian? There's a reason. There's a reason, my boy Florian. Hey, I tell y'all about Florian and Vaporian. I'll even tell you about my other bro, Jotian. <laughs> Jotian like was walking around the store the other day, and he was getting all these crazy looks. He was getting all these crazy looks. Man, there's this one dude, Gia dude. Now, Gia dude is this other brother. Gia. And my other, my other brother, my other brother, Machop. Gia, now, dude. let me tell you about Machop. <laughs> Machop was walking around his dog. He was deep. He was drinking liquor in his dog. He said, Machop we was eating the chop chop. Ma- Machop was looking around, around being crazy. And I said, Jodion, Plarion, Vaporion, get over here. <laughs> Sounds like you're doing a cat way. We the evolutions. This we we started a group called the Evolutions. Me, Jotion, Flareon, and my other cousin Umbreon. Him and Espion. Espion is his grandfather. We're black Israelites. We we, we nah we ain't nah we ain't dark type. We steel type. <laughs> We we're, steel type and a fairy type and a dragon type. You don't. We talking Pokemon boat, here, man. This po- energy. This is Pokemon in. Yeah, we put energy, energy cards. Energy cards. We got <laughs> menthol. And we got and we got ox. We got ox cord. Ox. And then we even got we even got herb. That's we you know, that's what we call marijuana. That's what we call it over here. Peas and rice for the Jamaicans. And then every once in a while we got jerk. That's jerk chicken. Oh, I love me some jerk chicken. Of course, Ned. We but now let me don't tell you. Now look, now we there was this one bitch. She was walking around town. Her name was Sweet Coon. Now Sweet Coon had that sweet pussy, right? Jesus. She had that sweet pussy. Now we we walk on over to Sweet Coon, and I would say sweet sweet. That's what I would say to <laughs> I say sweet sweet. I, I call that's how I call my sand true. And then no, go, yeah, sweet, sweet, sand true, sweet, yeah, sweet. sand true. Now sand true, that boy brother crazy. But let me tell you about this other thing I got. We got we got poking my knee, and then we also got. <laughs> You gay ho. Now that's what the other people we got. Now you gay ho. Is that a game? Yes, yeah, it's, it's a card game. <laughs> yeah. But let me tell you something. <laughs> let me tell you about this card game. You gay ho. These people, they got a card. This card is called Blue Eyes White Dragon. When I said that come in, I said, What's his name? Adolf Hitler? <laughs> But then you know what you do? You pull out the pot of greed on them. Oh, yeah, you pull out a pot of greed. Now, the pot of greed, that's where they put all the collard greens. Make that's it how rain you get that with ride. the pot of greed. Yeah, collard greens and the pot of greed. And every once in a while, you get another card, and they, they caught the dark magician. But they also, that's what they call me. Blue eyes white. Mm. Yeah, blue eyes white. <laughs> no, but I'm the dark magician, and, and then they call my girl. Now, sweet coon, I marry her. Dark sided magician. I carry her. I, I marry her. And now. We, but but my girl, we call we call Sweet Coon. We also call her the Dark Magician Girl. Are these the Tune Editions? No, nah, let me tell you about the <laughs> Tune Editions. We got the Tunes. Now they from the Midwest. They come over to Tune Town, Tuneville, and that's when. Now that's when everybody start being crazy. They big eyes. Wait, am I talking to a black? Chris Chan. <laughs> but nah, this is what this is. I'm what the fuck? I'm the dark magician. This is like you got talk- your own little world going on. Nah, didn't you talk to Sonic? We oh, want to talk about Sonic. <laughs> now, Sonic, not only is it Sonic as a hedgehog, but Sonic is also a place where I get a cherry limeade, and I, what I do is I have them put some of the grape syrup in it. I'm talking Quickville. Yeah, Quickville. Oh, Quickville. That's a, <laughs> that's a mark that I go down with my friend Chris. Well, we call him Christine. Yeah, got now a we nickname. call Christine in the streets. I got a nickname. <laughs> <laughs> now, we call it a nickname. <laughs> what do you call uh, it? A nickname. <laughs> okay. A nickname. Now, <laughs> now, on top of that. Like Nikolai. A Nikolai. Yeah, well, nickname. The other thing is when the people be play- so I was Bill talking Cosby. about Flareon and I was talking about Umbreon. <laughs> Florian and Umbreon. Oh, <laughs> uh, dude. So you know what I was thinking about? Okay, we just started off with a solid bit. You know what I was thinking about? Okay, so Toy Story. What's the premise of Toy Story? Uh, the toys are alive. You come to life, right? Yeah. Well, what about the sex toys? 
So Ooh. I was thinking about the sex toys coming to life, right? And I was thinking, I was thinking, I was thinking, I was like, what if there was a Bam Margera action figure, right? And then he walks in and he's like, hey, gosh, I went into Andy's mom's room and Dilly's in there. And Dilly was talking about how he fucked fucking Andy's mom in her ass. Let's go talk to her. <laughs> Let's go talk to Dilly. And Dilly's like one of those. That's actually pretty good. Dilly's like a dildo. And it's one of those ones that like goes in circles and it's like. Those wild ones. And it's like earlier today, Andy's mom. <laughs> Came inside. Well, it was pussy. And I was inside of Andy's mom's <laughs> pussy. And I was having sex with her. And then I was in his dad's ass. <laughs> and then I was in her mom's ass. Fucking you just have Woody. Woody's just like, oh, there, there's a snake in my boot. Wait, that's not a snake. <laughs> that's not a snake. That's Dilly. <laughs> That's a rope of cum. That's a, that's a cum. That's whoa. Yeah, and you'd have that's to have an like anal bead. Andy's parents have to be freaks, so you have a nice yeah. like range of plugs, all those things. Yeah, those Bam Margera. Bam Margera is just like he's just like. Why is there a Bam Margera in fucking kids' toy? Because he's an a Bam Margera. Bam Margera action. Oh, I know. It's just like what kind of fucking kid is this? He's like I was out, I was over there playing with my tech deck, and Brandon Novak came over, and I said, I said. Rock and roll. <laughs> rock, and rock and roll. roll. Rock and roll. What do you think, Tom? Hey, I mean, Woody. Woody, yeah. <laughs> what do you think? I think. <laughs> Umbreon. That'd be great. Umbreon was a guy. We started this one what would, solid. What dude. would butt plug name be? Uh, buddy. Uh, buddy. Scoop. 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 I mean, it scoops the what shit kind out of your butt ass. plug. Is that? I don't know. It's one with a little scoop on it, and you put it in, and then you, you put it in, and then you go you go like this. <laughs> <laughs> that literally sounds like you're just describing a spoon you, someone yeah, puts in their yeah, ass. Uh, yeah, I put a spoon in your ass. All right, well, I guess the spoon well, is a sex toy. Well, that's like that's like the actual character from from Toy Story 4. Is, is there's a spoon. This, a girl makes... How fucking weird is that part? There's a girl and she makes a toy out of a plastic spoon and it becomes alive. And it's like, hey, Woody, I met with Dilly earlier. She was, I was fucking Andy's mom. Dude, I always thought that toy would, like, fuck kids up, too, because he thinks he's trash the whole time. Yeah. Throw me in the garbage. Oh, is that what it is? Yeah. I've never seen it. He's like, I'm made of trash. Throw me away. He's yeah. always trying to, like, yeah. jump in the trash. It's actually a pretty funny character, man. That's pretty good. The, uh, who, what's that fucking movie? How did, like? no, how, did, how did no one ever... How did nobody ever fucking come up with the sex toy? Dude, they toy, fucked up. The sex that toy. That one uh, Seth Rogen and them made with the, the food the items. The foods, yeah. That shouldn't have been that. They should have done the sex they toy. Should have done the sex like toys. direct spoof of like yeah. Toy Story. Yeah. Maybe the Wayne's brothers will do it. The Wayne why would the Wayne's brothers do it? they dude, the Wayne's brothers are working on Pokemon. Uh, hey, it's oh, this is me, Molly oh, wait, Wayne's. Your, now Molly Your bit is gonna be a movie. <laughs> yeah. That is. It's coming out. White chicks with Pokemon. Yeah, it's yeah, it's so okay. So this is how it's gonna be. What they're gonna do is they're gonna get Christine Weston Chandler. Christine is a script supervisor. So what they what they what they do uh, now, Rain is they give her the script. Okay. She takes the script. She gives it to all the brothers. Now the brothers sit down, and then they see how realistic these Pokemon names are for the brothers. So like earlier, Jolteon, Flareon, Umbreon, Espeon. Umbreon. I mean, Umbreon sounds too close to Umbreon. Uh, Umbreon. Umbreon. Those are real Pokemon names. Really? Yeah, those are real Pokemon names. That's why this is funny. Holy shit, you're really good at Pokemon names. Yeah. Yeah, dude. Scary. Oh, I've been playing, speaking of Pokemon, they were already, dude, this is f seamless. Uh, I've been playing the Pokemon trading card game app. You got back into it? Dude. They have an app? Yeah, so they have an app so you don't have to spend real money on the cards. That's the way to go. Dude, I've been fucking playing it like, like sometimes two hours a night. Oh, at least it's at night. That's yeah. pretty much like all your screen time. Yeah, like it, it's been. Uh, no, not now. I'm, I'm on. I'm on. I'm on this. I'm on my screen way too much. But dude, so Pokemon. So so you know how I have a gripe with Magic the Gathering, and I don't know if we've gotten into it on this show. Yeah, we talked a little bit at last uh, last week, I think. Yeah. So long story short, Magic the Gathering. Well, it was, I was wrong. Magic the Gathering was bought by Hasbro in 1997, actually. Okay. But just recently, they started doing. They just started like acquiring like Doctor Who and like Lord of the Rings and all that shit. We've talked about this a ton. Yeah, just trying to. Sell but more. yeah, so like I was like, this is like fucking annoying. So, um. I was like looking into like Pokemon and the the meta game, which is like the game, like just like how the the current cycle of cards is, mm -hmm. is like it's like dude, it's only like sixty bucks for like a super top tier deck, and like it's just like you know you can like I don't know, 
it's like the games are really fast. You can just buy like, pre-made good decks now. You don't have to like take well, your time well, building like it. What they do is like, I mean, I, I don't, I wouldn't do that. Like you can do that, but uh, the way that like the way these games work with like a trading card game is they naturally, the cards that they have um, naturally form the best decks. So like because these card games are energy based or like even Magic the Gathering is mana based. So mm-hmm. it's just like all the same color, you know, like earlier we were talking about menthol and uh, herb and all that other stuff. <laughs> um, nicotine or whatever. Like, so the cards, the best cards with those energies in Pokemon, like naturally will, you, the, the, basically the decks create themselves almost. Hmm. Um, but like, you know, I would have something a little bit different because I, I think it's dumb. Because, like, what people do now is, like, someone makes a, a top-tier deck and then everyone just copies it. Yeah, that's... So, which is, like, that defeats kind of the point of, you know, whatever. So, uh, but, like, I've been... I, I think I'm going to start playing it, dude, because it's pretty cheap and it's fucking looks... It's fucking fun. It's so like super the, sick. The phone game, you have to pay for a little bit, right? To, like, no. have full... I mean, you can, but I don't. Because, like, I remember years ago I played, like, the Yu-Gi-Oh! one because I've always enjoyed, like, the card game yeah. of Yu-Gi-Oh! Like, <laughs> back in the day yeah definitely not anymore right and like you would have like you can play like 10 matches like uh, an hour but then like the thing has to like cool off for you to like no it does yeah. not like that you could just Pokemon, keep going play, play, just play, 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 play. It to you. yeah that's nice yeah so it's it's been pretty what's your favorite pokemon pretty... now i think uh well, what are we talking? Legendary? Are we talking like regular? new of the new one because didn't a new deck just i come don't out? give a fuck about any of the new ones oh, okay I like don't... me so like yeah I I well I've always been like that I like the original 151 uh, you know I like the I like I like up to Gen three okay I don't know I that. love the first generation second generation is good third generation I, I I don't care after that I I literally don't care so like for that it's like uh like uh, now you're just a tool for me you're just a tool in my deck you're a slave to me you're a pokey slave I'm not calling you by your name yeah. you're changing your name yeah I'm actually. changing your name your name is <laughs> P- Pikachu your name is now Toby um, Umbreon your name is Toby Flareon your name is Toby. <laughs> I call all my Pokemon Tobies. All my Pokemon is Toby. Jigglypuff, Toby. Kunta. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> King Kunta. Um, yeah, I don't know, but it's sick, dude. It's it's like it's like genuinely fun, and it's I, I like that the the dynamics of the card game are fast, but they're simple, but they they're complex in a in a simple way. So like sometimes Magic the Gathering would be like. Like, well, this card says or instead of and, and because of that, actually, it, it oh when God. or is used, it actually cycles off on this different way of the way that the cards manipulate the way that the, the this deck is hand disruption. It doesn't like, necessarily have to be this way. It can be this or, yeah, or, so, see, yeah, I didn't yeah. lose, you lost. Yeah, shit like that. Whereas po- you, Pokemon, Kyle. Pokemon is more just like... R- Flareon, get him. F- Flareon, use Fire Blast. Yeah, I would like that. Yeah. I never, I always had Pokemon cards back in the day. Never played the fucking game like most kids. I just. Yeah, I, I never played the game either, but. um, Dude, I saw uh, on a YouTube. Uh-huh. Someone sold like a unopened like box, original box from mm-hmm. like the 151 Pokemon for like fucking 60 grand. Yeah. Like what if we just got Pokemon cards and you know never crazy? opened it. You know what's crazy? In 2012, when I got back into Pokemon, I had three unopened packs of the base set. Jesus. I opened them on camera. How much do you th- is like one pack of those? I don't know. Probably a thousand dollars. I don't know. Probably. F- how does, how is there just hordes of unopened cards everywhere? Uh, Cause people like buy them and then they hoard them. Do you think like companies do that too? Yeah. Cause that's what, like, it almost doesn't make sense where there's like, Every YouTuber is doing this shit every week, dude. They got to run yeah, out of fucking uh, Pokemon cards. Yeah, I don't know. They're, they're, I don't know. I don't know. Um, like, this is the original box from 97. Yeah. Well, since since Christine Weston Chandler has been following me, I've been I've been getting it back into this nerdy stuff. I mean, it's between straight lovers. I mean, you know? that's just your natural ways. That's, that's how that you used to be. Way. We got to finish. We got to finish our... Uh, we pick it back up? We got to pick up the fucking end of the Chris, the Chris Chan stuff. Cause dude, there's going to be a Christine's, part three too. Christine following me on Twitter was like one of the, I'm not even exaggerating. It's like one of the biggest thing that's ever happened to me. It's so funny. Talk about manifestation. If I told yeah. you three years ago that she's going to follow oh, you, dude, I would be, when she I, gets out, she's going to follow you, dude. I swear. you like, no, I would be like, there's no way. <laughs> no, nah, dude. There's no way the show will get that big. <laughs> <laughs> there's no way the show will get it's that It's like, that's big. actually not a part of it. Isaac. This show will not, not get that big. <laughs> well, on a more serious note, did you hear uh, that uh, in the Ukraine they tried to assassinate Tucker Carlson? Really? Yeah. 
Dude, everybody was giving him like, why don't you just stay there if you love it? He just someone tried to fucking assassinate him. Yeah, so yeah, Ukrainian guy. They arrested a guy in Ukraine and um, they they attached a bomb to his car. Whoa! And they found it. He he he, he could have blown up. Yes, they were trying Holy to kill him. Right? Shit, dude. Yeah, they were How trying the to. How the fuck blow did him they up. get a bomb on his car? I don't know. I I I, I don't know. They uh, dude, let me see. Tucker needs to check his fucking people, man. Yeah, they yeah they found so they found a bomb in his car in Moscow. So it was like I don't know. So obviously he must have had a, a pretty decent security detail. But you got a Ukrainian dude running around Moscow putting bombs under his yeah. car. Yeah, fuck all that. I dude. mean, there's. I mean, it's as true as you know whatever. If it's anything else, it's as true as anything else is true. So, but that 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 was pretty interesting. Um, you know what's funny? I was I was on Reddit. You you were talking about Reddit on the Patreon. Go to patreoncom slash I mean, that was a pretty good Patreon. Patreon's fucking growing like crazy. Yeah. Um, yeah, shout out to all you guys. Yeah. So. Uh, I was on, uh, you were talking about Reddit, and I was on, uh, this thread on the presidents came up, and it was like, it was like, what, like, it was, uh, what was it? It was like, what's like the, oh, who, what, which president has the lowest IQ, right? Hmm. And which president do you think has the highest IQ? So, there's a thread, and they're talking, and like, most people were saying like Jefferson or like John Quincy Adams probably had the highest, because Jefferson was like an inventor and stuff too, you know? Oh, I didn't know that. Um. Yeah, I didn't know that either. I thought it was just a uh, slave, slave. I'm one of those guys that doesn't know fucker. shit about the president. Yeah, uh, th- yeah. Why would you? It's gay. Uh, <laughs> but it, it was so funny because I guess it's you cannot type out the word Donald Trump on the president subreddit, and every single comment, every single comment in this thread, every single one was like, the smartest is. It was either like Jefferson or like you know it was between like a handful of them. Every single one was like, and the and the dumbest is clearly he who cannot be named. That is Reddit in a fucking nutshell. It was like, yeah, it's it's he who cannot be fucking named. Obviously, dude. Obviously, it's Donald Trump. Dude, the the left control on Reddit is fucking gnarly. I did everything right, and they indicted me. It's just crazy. No, it's crazy. That that they have censored a man's name. I mean, dude, how fucking gay are you? That's crazy. Oh yeah, dude, and just simple stuff. You know, like they'll recommend shit for you. I get recommended like out of the loop, uh-huh. and sometimes when it's a weird question, I'll fucking click on it. This one was like, oh, so what happened with like Trump and the court thing in Denver because he got like acquitted or whatever. Yeah, yeah, and every single comment for like. Deleted. Yeah, I'm yeah. like, okay, I don't know what the fuck's going on. So cool. you know what's crazy is, um, do you remember Rain when we were taught when I don't know if it was you who brought it up or if I was I was bringing up people bringing up that Trump was not on the ballot in Denver and Maine. Yeah, I remember you brought that up. So what did I say was going to happen? I want to see if you remember. What I, I do not remember. So I said, this is all psyop. So people start freaking out. The Supreme Court's going to rule that Donald Trump can run for president, and then he's going to run for president, and he's probably going to win or whatever. I don't really make a prediction about who wins or loses. Literally today, the Supreme Court was like, Donald Trump can run for president, ladies and gentlemen. It's like, dude, I've fucking predicted this. It's just like, it's just a fucking script. It's Mm -hmm. so easy to see what is fucking happening every fucking time. Once you know the notes, you know it all. And it's as simple as divide and conquer. No one... Dude, I, st- America. <laughs> I'm dude I still fucking like yell with my mom. Yeah. She doesn't fucking get it, dude. I'm like, Mom, you're goddamn 60. How well, no, you not- but here's the thing. Here's the thing. Here's the thing with boomers, dude. And like, it's, the same it's, thing. it's unforgivable, truly. Like, they've been brainwashed by the magical, the magic box that hardcore, the, the magic box that, uh, that tells them that they're heroes and that their entire life is has been worth it and that they worked really hard for those oh, yeah, for all the magic the, picture box the magic box and and the and it, it loves them and and they're just the best and i mean th- like i want you to be serious serious i want you to be serious mm-hmm. be serious for a minute on this funny show on our funny ga- on our funny show about us being gay and retarded um what's one good thing you think boomers have done for um let you know how like truly, like be be serious. I want not yeah, like that's really don't hard be funny. To not fucking joke. I was like, like don't be funny. Let like, you know be how serious. fucking awesome it would have been to buy a house for cheap. Uh, no, that's 
Oh, no, oh you mean when they could buy a house for $25,000? When... Yeah, I had to break that down to my mom, too. Yeah. Um, shit. Like, um, name one good thing. How about this? Not even this. Capitalism. <laughs> like, they're pure capitalists, dude. Okay. Like, that's that's a, that's that's, that's, but that's I can't come up with anything. But that's not really a good thing. Be like because that's not a good thing that's good yeah, for like anyone besides good. themselves. Yeah, How about like, that? Like orange juice. Yeah, I don't know. There's nothing they didn't do shit. I'm like, sure they literally one thing ruined you, every single thing possible. Like like dude ruined TV. Do you know that they're the only generation in the history of the United States who is leaving their children with less than what they 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 started with? <laughs> do you know that? I believe that. that the, fucking the, sucks, do you know dude. the wealthiest, most opulent, spoiled generation? The boomers are leaving just their kids with their nothing. Grave. They're just when I die, you're not getting anything. Dude, they're gonna be <laughs> on their deathbeds, like spending an extra, you know, I don't know, an extra fucking, uh, you know, yeah, they'll be the ones 50, like fifty, an extra fifty grand on their deathbed to stay alive. Yeah, for they'll be like, I'm dying, month. might as well DoorDash. My credit card yeah, and like, have my I'll, kids yeah, deal with it. I'm gonna fucking yeah, it's crazy. I mean, well, you don't have you know you don't have to do that, right? If your mom rings up a credit card debt, you don't know anything, right? You know that, right? No, I don't. But that was just an example. Just so you know, just in case, just in case anything happens, and then because they, they they try to do that, credit card companies will they'll try to rope you in. They will rope you in, and and you oh you don't know anything on any. Like I don't even have debt. the same last name. Yeah. Let's try. Yeah, I don't even have. Yeah. I'll... So forget about it. Cause... <laughs> um, Our grandmother did uh, open a credit card in my name when I was little. <laughs> <laughs> That's fucking crazy. Are you I had serious? a JC Penny credit card when I was like two years old. My mom was pissed, dude. That's crazy. Yeah. Shout out, Mava. You rule. So what did they do? She they just, just needed like five hundred bucks, dude. So they cleared it or what? Yeah, we had to like hold do a whole dis well, she had to do a whole dispute thing. I was fucking two. Damn, that's pretty fucking crazy. Uh yeah, I'm glad my credit didn't get fucked from that. Yeah, yeah. I mean my credit is super fucked. Speaking of uh I guess we're kind of talking, I don't know. We just but I have a note on this. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> you know, so you know Lemon Party, you know how remember how I told you that that guy was like, "Listen to Lemon Party. It's the closest thing to come town. Please yeah. listen to it." Uh definitely not our show that's executive produced by Nick Mullen. Um yeah, which is insane. Uh but um they had a uh they had a an unironic link in the description of one of their shows to to donate to BLM, not the Bureau of Landmass. No, mother. Why? You know what I'm talking about. Yeah, dude. I know. Really? Yeah. They're, we're so, st so they're still doing the BLM mm -hmm. thing. So not uh, them, but so so Jace, who's Ben Avery's brother, had a link. He like did some interview like a while back, and he had a link to BLM, like like donate money to, and and here's the funniest thing. Here's the funniest thing. This is the funniest thing. So. If we believed in some cause mm -hmm. and we had that in our thing, whatever, who cares? Like, okay, I BLM's a scam. We know this. But yeah, like, like a GoFundMe for but Christine. Like, but here, here, here's the funniest thing. So so I kind of did some like deduction and I was like, that's, I was all, first of all, that is fucking gay. I mean, it's between straight lovers. <laughs> uh, I was gay. But also I was like, well, I mean, it's their show. They can do whatever, right? Like, who cares? Yeah. And, but then I was also like, wait, I'm reading this on Reddit. <laughs> and, <laughs> and and Reddit was freaking out, dude. They're like, this is disgusting. <laughs> I can't believe it. Yeah. I can't believe it. Come on. Oh, yeah. It's almost come down. It's almost like come down. It's almost come down. <laughs> So like he accidentally put that? No, he it was it was in the description of like an interview he did, and it was like donate to like it was like sincere. Can you still donate to them? Do you? Yeah, oh for sure. I'm wow, sure, yeah. I thought they got in fucking trouble and shit. No, I don't know. It doesn't matter, but it's just like it, this is what's so funny is like I saw it and I was like that's gay, and then I was like eh whatever, who cares? And then I was like, oh wait, no, that's pretty gay. And then I go on Reddit and they're like. Aah! And I was yeah, like, uh, too hard. actually, like, never mind. Never mind. It's, it's pretty, <laughs> that's pretty normal. <laughs> yeah, that's know. why I like to just stay right in the middle of everything so I can just, you know, dance to the left, dance to the right when I have to. Yeah, you're a fence sitter. I like fences. When you're it's a nice you're fence. You're a fence sitter, dude. When it's a good fence. That's, there's dude. nothing worse than a fence sitter. <laughs> there's nothing worse than a spineless fence sitter. Oh, dude. yeah. That's like a bandwagoner with sports. Nothing more than I hate than a fucking bandwagoner. Than a bandwagoner. And we're in California, home of bandwagoners. You see him pop Did you see the way. guy who broke the 40 record? 
He ran a four two one. He broke the all time oh, yeah. record. <laughs> He's not that good. He's just fast. Yeah. That's good. Yeah. But like uh, didn't Chris Johnson run like a four two two? Well, that's why I said he ran a four two one. Yeah, but like He's the only like. <laughs> what the well, fuck was that? Well, no, not like just close. No, but yeah, yeah. He was successful. Yeah, he's like the only really fast dude I can think of that was like really successful. When you think like, we can't go too far into fucking football talk. But Barry I can't Sanders, think of, Barry Sanders ran a four two in the eighties when clocks were slower because time sped up. Time's been speeding up the, the whole 90s. time. He doesn't know. It was a four five actually back then. This is in the nineties. Barry Sanders? Pretty sure he was drafted in the 80s. Look it up. Okay. Look it up on your phone. Shit. Right. Uh, no, but, um, dude, I, I counted his steps. Guess how many steps it took him to run a 40-yard dash. How many? Guess. I want you to guess. 62. I don't know how many steps it would take to run. A, hold on. Let me do math. 40 yards. So it's that's 40 that's feet. All right. No, it's not. It's 120 right. feet. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, 30 steps. Damn. 19, dude. Holy shit, dude. Yeah. Holy shit, he cleared that much ground in 19 steps? Yeah. So, like, I think... Isn't he Olympian? So, I ran a 4-5. I ran a 4-5-1, and I think I took probably, like... I think I probably took, like, I don't know, 28? Shit. I wish I counted my steps. I don't know. He ran a 4-6. He took... He took, uh... (laughs) <laughs> he took uh he took 19 it's crazy. So what does that fucking equal? One step is almost wait. 120 feet. Oh, whoa. That's almost 10 feet a step? Like a a, a leap? Or what like Yeah. A stride. That's what I meant. A stride. Fuck, dude. Like at the end, so like the thing is is you take a lot of steps in the beginning when you're running your first like 10 yards. Yeah. Or your first like 20 yards is like your your first 20 yards is like how fast you're going and like, or how many steps you take a lot of steps. The first like 20 yards, sorry, your phone distracted me. <clears throat> I'm sorry. 89 NFL draft. Oh, okay. You, so you were, you were basically <laughs> I wrong. I barely got there. You were basically no, you were <laughs> actually technically wrong. <laughs> I was technically wrong, but basically wrong. So he played, he started playing in the nineties then. Who knows? Who that, knows? Well, that, <laughs> who knows? <laughs> so he was drafted in 89 <laughs> and played in the nineties, but was drafted. No, if you're in drafted the, the year. Yeah. You play the same year you're drafted. I mean, the Super Bowl, hey, what, what it was in 1990. Hey, hey don't go down the technicality. The, the Super Bowl is in the already 90s. got you on it. Okay. <laughs> this, well, so the season is the 89-90 the, the season. Mm-hmm. Okay. That shit's always confused me when I'm you're like scared. A, a, awarding a Super Bowl winner. <laughs> Why? Like, do they get, they always get it for the year they won it, not the season the year started. No, it's the year it started. Really? Yeah. That's what's always, see? Fucking well, because it's 80 day, 80 day, 89, 9, it would be the 89, 90 Super Bowl winners. I don't know why it, oh, it's fucking 34 and I'm still not getting it. Right. Yeah. Cause it's, cause it, yeah, it goes <laughs> through the Shit. new year. Um, My team won it twice. I'm like what yeah. the hell's happening here? Yeah. I gen- I genuinely think that, um, the fucking, uh, the Rams are going to win this next year. Have you seen, I think I talked about this before and then we'll, we'll stop talking about football, but the, uh, the, every time the Rams have won a Super Bowl, it's gone the, how the last like four seasons have gone for the Rams. Huh? It was like. Oh wait! I know. I did. I did see a post like yeah, that. It's yeah. Like, it's like. It's uh, like. What is it? It's like. It's like Super Bowl, and then it, it like resets. So it was like it, it's like misses playoffs, playoffs. Super Bowl appearance every yeah. time, or so it's something fucking like that. that works until it doesn't. Giants fans were doing that with Eli his whole career. They're like, we got snuck in, and then he was doing the same pattern. So they were uh-huh. calling him three Eli, and it just didn't fucking happen. Actually, they got worse, progressively yeah. worse. Yeah. Well, yeah, I think I think it's like the Rams like last kind of shot. Anyways, um, dude, all you guys need is like a Doja Cat to date like Cooper Cup, and you guys will fucking yeah. Phew. Oh yeah, that's yeah. Seriously, I rocket to the top, dude. Did you see um? Did you see that the Google AI got like in trouble? Yeah, I didn't see like it, for what. It uh, refuses to make white people in pictures. Why would they do that? <laughs> I don't know. So like it was like draw me a picture of the founding fathers and they were all like black. And, like, <laughs> That's cool, dude. And, like Native American. That's pretty cool. Yeah, and then like I was reading this thing on Reddit and it was like, yeah, they're slow. Hang on, let me let me do this for effect. They're slowly going to change history. 
And what they're going to do is they're going to make everybody who was ever important in history black. <laughs> it makes me think of Sam Tripoli. He's like, man, the future's tan. The future's tan. That's fucking Jesus Christ. Which kind of makes sense. You slowly breed everybody together. We're just going to be able like you mix all the crayons together. They make brown. Yeah, but, how. but <laughs> just like, it's, Even with why nice is that like your talking though. point? That's just fucking retarded. The future's tan. Like, shut the fuck <laughs> up. What are you talking about? I haven't listened to that show in a long time. Yeah, it's one of the few good shows out there left. Yeah. There's not a lot. Yeah, they're all fucking. You have uh, NPR. They're good. Shut the <laughs> fuck up, dude. NPR where they whisper talk. Did you like, ever listen yeah. to that? Like for real when you're in college? Come on. Or not for real. I had I had you for like classes. Did you have like I know one of your girlfriends for sure listened to it, huh? No, not really. Damn. Good for you. No, uh no, my ex Drew, she like um I don't know, she threw a play out of my head because I called her sister a cunt at dinner <laughs> once. <laughs> Dude, how sick is that? Did it break? I don't remember. Because I can I don't totally think see so. like a plate not breaking it didn't and break. that hurting I don't think a it, lot more. I don't think it bro- broke. I feel like if it broke, it would not hurt. She threw a knife at me too. Holy shit, did it stick you? No. Fucking dodged with the it. handle? <laughs> oh. Dude, no. I you dodged a dodged. knife like Neo? Yeah, I fucking dodged it like Neo in the Matrix. Dodging uh, liberal knives. Dude, I was, like so, I was so fucking mean to my ex-girlfriends, dude. You hey. know what's funny? Avery asked me, she's like, what's like the crazy, what's, what's one thing someone said to you that you'll never forget? And I, and I, and I was <laughs> thinking, and I, I had this girl tell me sincerely, like, like you, you broke me and you ruined my life. Like I, I dated this <laughs> chick, I dated this chick and I cheated on her and, oh, and she like got, she became like severely addicted to cocaine and like, ru- like had to drop out of college and like ruined her and enti- like her. Her life to this day is like fucked. We'll just be like, hey, I cheated on you. I got severely addicted to cocaine. Yeah. But I stayed in school. That's on you, bitch. Yeah, I don't know. It's uh yeah, now I rock. Yeah, you now I'm look sober at how fine and I rock. you are, dude. See, if that's her excuse now, that's fucking some Yeah, no, she didn't say that now. She said that like years ago. What but if she it's, is? it's still pretty cool. It's she? pretty funny. Um yeah, I was fucking dude. I, I've never really told any of my ex girlfriend stories on the show, I don't think. Some of them you got you got a lot more in the chamber, but I think there's a lot of half stories you got, like half stories. What yeah, you, like, like you got, haven't told the full story yet, or you don't even know the other half of the story. Oh, I don't know. <laughs> you, you weren't really present. No, I wasn't there at all, dude. No, um, yeah, like, I think the craziest thing is like dating that chick that was legit from North Korea. I think that was the peak. I think that was like peak crazy. That's, I. Th- I That's think that rad. has to be Pete crazy. Like, dude, okay, so she just, sounds cool. just for the listeners, like, I dated this chick, and she was, I I met her on, like, Bumble or whatever, and uh, she was, like, Korean. She was, like, super Korean. You met her on Plenty of Sushi. And I was like, you could have just said Plenty of Fish, because that's an actual dating site. The joke was that's Asian joke. in the sushi, you know? Okay. All right. Yeah, but... but Plenty of fish, plenty of sushi. But fish is sushi. So the joke could have just been, you better on plenty of fish. But then sushi. it would just be the name of the website. Yeah, that's what, then that's an added layer to the joke. Son of a bitch. <laughs> layer to the, to the, a layer to the roll, to the sushi roll. Hey. To the nigiri. <laughs> <laughs> Pokemon! Uruko! You uh, met her on, like, so an American her, one? Yeah, I met her, yeah. Okay. <laughs> no, no, no. So shut the fuck up, yeah. Right. So I met her. And then she's like, yeah, I'm from Korea. And I was like, oh, you're from South Korea. That's crazy. And I just remember distinctly being like, yeah, you're from South Korea. That's crazy. And she's like, no, I'm from North Korea. And I was like, what? How did you even get over here? I was fucking hammered. You're and like co- lying, bitch. It was our first day. And I remember I took off work to go meet with this chick at like noon, like down the hill. Hell yeah. And I was driving in my Astro van. So I drove my Astro van from fucking Victorville to fucking to Rancho Cucamonga, drunk as fuck. Overheating for sure. <laughs> Overheating, just drunk as fuck just coked out and uh i was like you're there's no way she's like yeah i i am from north korea my uh my i came over my aunt and i defected when i was a toddler and i was like oh damn your aunt sounds like a badass and she goes yeah i watched her die she got (laughs) shot while we were wading across the river and she like pushed me across the rest of the river and she i watched her die and you're like you sound hot (laughs) and i was no this was in real life oh God, you're like, yeah, fucking damn it. You're like, so, you're so pretty now. So I was like, oh yeah, it's crazy. And then anyways, um, yeah, we dated for like two weeks and then she stole a pair of my sunglasses. I don't know if you know this about Asian people, but they have 
some of them, their noses are too flat for sunglasses. Mm-mm, Did I you know that? No. They can only wear certain types of sunglasses, like kinds of the, the kinds you're wearing they can wear, but you know the ones that have the little circles? Yeah, the ones that hang on the top of the bridge? Yeah, they can't They can't wear those, some of them. Damn, I didn't and know. And I had these brand new Ray-Bans and they were those and she stole them. And I was like, there's no reason for you to have those. You can't even wear them. So I was messaging her on, on Snapchat. I never had this girl's phone number. We dated and I never had her phone number. I only had her Snapchat and then I would just like meet up with her and just like we would get a hotel and I would just do coke and then we would hook up. Oh, at least you got that. I yeah, I would just, just do I would just do hella cocaine and hook up with her. And then I would just like, uh, I didn't have a bank account at the time. Makes sense. So I would just cash out my checks and I would just have like four thousand dollars in cash <laughs> on me, and I would just spend all my cash like over the weekend like on coke and shit, and I would just be all fucked up. I and, forgot about food. Yeah, and then, like, I remember one time, uh, like, I guess the reason we broke up, I don't even remember, but, like, she was, like, crying about her dad, and I was like, okay, God, I got to get an Uber, and I just, like, ignored her. And, like, didn't you watch your aunt die? Yeah, you she, should. yeah, well, she cried because her dad, like, beat her and stuff. Oh. She, like, dropped out of high school. She dropped out of high school, too. She had, like, fucking her body was, like, covered in tattoos. She was gnarly, dude. Damn. Can't go back to North Korea with those tattoos. Yeah, I guess. I guess not. Do you think there's any... What a, damn, you can't go back to... What are you, a well, fucking no. news anchor? Damn, you can't go back to North Korea with those tattoos. Back to you, faggot. <laughs> <laughs> God damn it. Why are you so mean to me? <laughs> Fuck. Oh, sorry, I'm bullying you. I better stop. <laughs> I better save face. God damn I better save face to all the fucking... So forget about it, cuz. Fucking people who listen. You know the way I've been, like, trying to alleviate, like, uh, my anxiety with, like, I'm almost done with school? Yeah, you, like, you text me today, you're like, I'm 87% done or whatever you say. It has, like, a percentage thing on my thing. Like, I'm 80, 84% <laughs> finished. I'm like, oh, my God. I, I only know that because it says it. Like, yeah. I'd be fucking gay no, I thought I you were calculating it for sure. Hell no. I thought 40 yards is 40 feet. Uh, <laughs> hey. Oh, but my, um... I really enjoy watching people gamble their life away. Oh, yeah? Oh, my God. Like on what? What do you mean? YouTube. Dude, there's... Like, ga- like, like gambling addicts? Gambling addicts. So oh, there's yeah. a whole lane of... Gam- my favorite is this guy, Bretsky. He's like, Bretsky? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> he, okay. He, okay. He's I'm this listening. guy from like a Boston area. <laughs> okay. And all he does is gamble. <laughs> He'll be like, all right, time to change this. $500 in $2,000 on one hand. And it'll be like... Oh, and then it's gone. But then he gets like, it's kind of genius. Like he'll lose money and uh-huh. then he'll get like, like cash cows, like people in his like donations. Like he had a rich guy show up to Vegas with him and gave him like a hundred grand. Damn. Dude. And like, that there's rules. a video of him just doing $2,500 spins on Whoa. the slot machine. I'm like, Oh my God, dude, that's fucking crazy. I Whoa. didn't even know that existed. And the rich guy is next to him with 400 grand in the machine. Whoa. And I'm like, dude, how much fucking, I don't even feel that good when I go through like a hundred dollars on a machine. Cause slots go pretty fast. Yeah. yeah, dude, yeah. And you're just seeing them fucking click 2,500 oh, for some reason. This it's is like three months rent for me. Dude, that's most people's mortgage. And they're just like, tick, tick, tap, tap. that's so crazy. And Damn. the, the guy I follow, like with the money he was given, he ended up rolling it over into like three hundred grand. And the dude next to him, they gave it to him, like lost everything. Was he bad? Was he mad or no? He's kind of just like Whoa. no. He's like, oh man, I'm fucking. That's just how it goes sometimes. I'm like, that's not okay to be like that unless you're just a. You know what's crazy? Speaking, this is super funny that you're talking about gambling because uh, I got an argument on Reddit this week <laughs> on a Pokemon on on the Pokemon trading card game at uh, subreddit because this guy. <laughs> This guy, <laughs> this guy posted and he's like, only, only 275, uh, I unboxed 275 packs to get this one. And it was like this like fucking rare card or whatever. And the card, the rare card is worth like $4. It's like not even right. rare, but you it's just like, just bought it. Yeah. It's just like hard to get, but like people like, yeah, they oh. call them cracking packs. They like cracking packs. Oh dude. Unboxing. Yeah. So Shit. they like cracking packs. I used to have an unboxing channel. You I fucked l- up, dude. Those are so lucrative now. Dude, I had an un I unboxed one set of Pokemon cards from every set up until up until whatever set it was on. It yeah, was on it was on like X Z X Y Paldean Knights or whatever. Anyways, so yeah, so these he cracked like 275 packs to open this one card and then the comments were like, wow, you spent $1,300 on 
on these cards, dude. I would have, I would have given you one of these cards. And someone's like, "Yeah, this guy's a gambling addict. He's a gambling <laughs> addict. He's a gambler. He needs to stop because he's a gambler." And so I responded, and I was like, "Dude, why do you care what this other person does with their, their money?" And he's like, "He's gambling. He's gonna ruin his life." <laughs> they and, don't care about his life. No, and I, yeah, that's basically what I did. And I just fucking, I just freaked this guy out and, and it just made him super mad. But it's so funny that, like, you're saying that. It is weird. Mom told it? Me <laughs> Hell yeah, baby. Yeah, dude, that's what I get wrong. Be simple, man. <laughs> that's so funny. So, anyways, dude. <laughs> <laughs> so, um. <laughs> 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 Dude, the beginning of that sound always confuses me. I'm like, oh shit, there yeah, he is. It's so funny. It's simple man by fatty. It's so funny. Dude, um by fatty. <laughs> like fat Aristotle Fatty wrote the song. Shut the fuck up. All right, go, hey, go back to what you're saying. Covers does a cover band say their Aerosmith like an Aerosmith cover band are like, hey, come into the stage, Aerosmith. Nope. Okay, it's just go. Fucking song by the cover band gay. It's not cover, it's a fucking karaoke. Which is like a cover, dude. Is karaoke a cover? Oh, uh, when I do it, because it's so when I do close it? to being I'm scared. Are you sure? <laughs> <laughs> You're laughing so hard right now. All right, I go. can't get over the people go. that love Kid Rock, dude. <laughs> <laughs> that are like, dude, he, hear me out. He's really cool. Dude, it's like, so funny dude. how we just bash Joe Rogan for fucking an hour on the fucking Patreon, and yeah. it's like, it's like we're talking about how he fucking gay he was with Kit with uh with. Cat Williams, completely forgetting we talked about him two weeks ago and how he was with Kid Rock. Dude, it's hard not to. He's like the biggest fucking thing in the world. Yeah, he he's like, like everywhere. It's funny, like, I listen to him less since we started doing this podcast, uh -huh. but some it, his clips start popping up, and I started watching the clips again. <laughs> <laughs> and then now you're, you got me to watch a whole lot. Yeah, like, yeah. what are you doing to me right now? Is this know. a fucking bit? <laughs> are you, like, hurting me? <laughs> <laughs> I'm just happening? fucking psyoping you. I'm psyoping you. Do I like being... Joe Rogan? What the <laughs> fuck is happening? Do I hate him? <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> Hold on. <laughs> I don't know what's going on, dude. Like, I think I like Joe Rogan. <laughs> I've been psyoping you into listening to Joe Rogan for weeks. <laughs> but first, you got me to not like him. <laughs> Let me. Are, are you scared? <laughs> okay. Joe Rogan, welcome to the stage. Wait, hang on, hang on, hang on. Oh Mama told me. <laughs> it is pretty funny that song. Oh I think it's a song. <laughs> Kid Rock walked out with like Trump into the UFC. Is this what this American this badass? Song? Really? Yeah. I don't know. I don't know why I thought it started saying. I thought it started saying. Ah, I'm an American um, bulldog. <laughs> I'm a bulldog. <laughs> Wait, what is it? Might be the original. I'm American. I, it's worse. I'm an American badass. Yeah, yeah. I, I am an American bulldog. Watch me bark and while I shake. Wait, anyways. So wait, what were you saying again? <laughs> I fucking just can't believe how many the like, gambling stuff we're talking about. Gambling. Oh, my gamblers. I, I, <laughs> I, I like it, and I'm. I really like it. I enjoy. Uh, <laughs> Watching it at work yeah, when I'm smoking, so my my scariness is as I'm watching, and I'm like, my oh, scariness. What my, the fuck are you saying? That's yeah, not a word. My scariness is my uh, <laughs> my worry is that I'm watching these, and I'm like, I I do a hundred dollar spin. Okay, that's not that much because you're watching them like gamble so yeah, much yeah, money. Yeah, you're yeah. like, ah, oh, come on, do you do a twenty five dollar spin? Yeah, dude. When I'm in Vegas, I'm like. 75 cents yeah no yeah you're cheap you're i'm cheap. worried that next you're smart time financially yeah well if we go back to skanks fest yeah. and i'm watching these gambling guys on youtube this much you're gonna go for it i might go for it but that's also how you win though is like you gotta that's what go i'm for saying it. i mean that was like jay dude jay would like you know we've talked about jay at nauseam on the show but like my friend jay he would he would just spend he, he would either spend 2500 dollars at the at the casino or he'd win like 5,000. That's pretty much how this guy does it. And he always starts off like, all right, like 200 bucks immediately trying to just double that money and like double it two times and then use like that 1,500, 1,000 bucks that uh -huh. he like tripled and use that for like other like big bets. Dude, he'll put like, he'll, he has this fucking bet. He puts like 
certain numbers on craps is uh-huh. like way too much money. Yeah. And there's been so many times he does not roll it. So he films himself in a casino? He has to, so when he's you, you're not that's not allowed. So mainly he films the um the video games. I guess you could do the video machines. Uh-huh. Um and on tables, the way he'll get them to agree to do like one clip of like a roll one roll mm-hmm. it, he'll be like i'll bet 500 dollars on this hand if you let me like record this one that's oh, okay. the only way but most of the time he's like all right go into the table with thousand dollars in chips let's see what the reveal is uh fuck <laughs> it's oh usually, wow I'm like, so how did you how did this come across your algorithm because this I is don't know. So... how does anything come across an algorithm well it's it's uh i don't know you gotta you gotta ask the ai and their their preference towards black the black nobility I haven't had any black gamblers. No black gamblers? Black people love to gamble. Oh, my brother Vaporeon! But that um, got me thinking like about addiction too as I'm watching it because there's other, like, as I'm finding out, there's other gambling addicts that are like really bad, like degenerate. There's this guy I saw. He started his career off playing Call of Duty in his parents' house and he turned into or RuneScape and he would like do these dual battles okay. on RuneScape for like RuneScape money. And he handed what? up as like a really top player. This is so fucking I know, sick, dude. And it turns it turns into him like live streaming, um, him like RuneScape shortly into like just live streaming him gambling. And the gambling he's doing is like, click how many things can you get to green? Uh-huh. If this lands on green or red, it's like green is double your money, red is you lose. And he's just clicking like, fucking screaming at his parents, getting people to like, what? Donate. he's like crying when he loses. He's like, what am I doing? Why did I do that? Five minutes what? later, he's like, dude, I'm fucking winning. <laughs> Wait, dude, what? This is so crazy. <laughs> wait, what? You got here, move the mic to your mouth so it's capturing it all. So I don't have to turn it up. Okay, so wait, what is it? What is this guy called? What is his name? I can't remember his name. I'll ha- I would have to look in my history because I don't, I don't know if he's... Wait, so 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 the ga- is he gambling real money? Yeah, he's gambling real money. So it's one of those and it's, states... And the game is in... Online, because it's one of those states that has, like, online betting. There's, like, online slot machines now. Oh, shit. Yeah. So then... So it, it started with him playing RuneScape. Yeah, and he was, like, doing this And then he was doing thing. duels. Yeah, for, like, a lot of gold in the game. And then he got addicted to the goal, gambling for gold, and then he started gambling real money. Just straight up gambling, like, on okay. Twitch. Okay. And then Twitch banned gambling, so he's on kick. Okay. And, like, all he does is, like, lose, beat his door down, then scream at his parents. It's this one of those kids that, like, so controls his parents. Sick. How Dude, old is he? He's probably, like, 23 now. That's so dope. Find, Dude, find this guy's name. Yeah, he's lost, we like, shout him out he's lost show. hundreds of grand, like, in total. Really? It's insane, but he's never had more than, like, 10. That's so crazy. Like, I think one roll, he won, like, um, I think he won, like, 30 grand on a roll. And he's like, oh, my God, Dad. Oh, my God, Dad, you got to take me to the bank. He doesn't go to the bank and he loses it all. Dude. Wait, what? Oh, Why doesn't so he go to the bank? Because he got, he has to win more, dude. Oh, so he got, oh, so he got sucked Like, he back freaks in. out when he hits the jackpot and then he, like, sits back down and then he just fucking. Oh, my God. So the dad, the dad said, like, I'm not taking you to the bank. Or he just... No, he's just like, oh, yeah, we'll, we'll go to the bank. We'll Congratulations. Go. He's like, oh, fuck, yeah. Sat down in front of his, like, Twitch audience, and he's like, fuck. Oh, yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll Dude, gamble, I like, remember, 10 grand more. I remember when I got my uh, my GameStop up to, like, $24,000. Fuck. I got up to twenty four grand, And uh, I just remember, like, three weeks later, I remember I told my mom, and I was like, I'm, I'm fucking buying a Tesla. And she was like, what? And I was like, I'm buying a Tesla. Shit, dude. And then she was like, what? And I, ch- I showed her my money, and she's like, don't lose it all. And then, like, three weeks later, I was like, I pulled it out. But it was not 24. I lost some of it. Dude, if you if you got all the rebates that, like, California and the uh, yeah. government gives for Teslas, I saw this guy online. He was able to get one for, like, 14 grand. Yeah. you That might have been a good investment. Yeah, but I'm dumb. Ass. Thanks, Mom. <laughs> Wait, I'm trying to find this, this guy. You can't find about. him. No, I, I click on uh, your shorts too many times. I didn't know those. Oh, yeah, the shorts. Did you see the short I posted today? Uh, the, oh, did you see huh. the earwigs? Yeah, I was about to say that's fucking disgusting. That's crazy, right? Yeah, because last time I was there, you're like, fucking trap's not working, man. You're like, what the hell? No, so, okay, so for people that uh, are, are uninformed, or uninformed, <laughs> that, for, for you idiots, um, <laughs> no, there's like, so I guess what happened was, I was talking to my neighbor, the apartment that I'm in, the reason it was so cheap was it got flooded. Ooh. So a pipe broke, so they fixed it, but like people didn't want to rent it because it 
thought it had mold or something. Yeah, or whatever. It doesn't. Dude, if it does, lawsuit. And it's perfectly fine. So the, the apartment's perfectly fine. But I guess what happened is, in the area I live, when a building like floods, there the moisture is retained in the wood, mm-hmm. and earwigs start to go to it. They just flock to it because you're in the middle of the desert. Yeah, and so I guess what happens... Like, so like we would have, like, I'd open the door at night and like literally, dude, I'm not exaggerating. Like 20 earwigs would run through the door. Like literally like hordes of them would run in. Yeah. Like I rarely see one in my bathtub. No, like, dude, it'd be like, like, dude. So I put this trap out and and what I did was I got, um, they're attracted to salt and sugar. So I got like a Tupperware thing. I put, uh, I put tinfoil over it and I cut holes in the top of it and I put, uh, soy sauce, Worcestershire, maple syrup, oil, and water in it. And I like stirred it all up. And, um, so, and the moisture just brings them in and then the smell, they want to eat it. So, oh, yeah. so dude, literally in a week, probably over 1500 earwigs. Dude, you got you- that video. I posted a video to our YouTube. Dude. Oh. I, it's titled earwig soup. It's on my shorts. Dude, you can like, you can make earwig soup. Yeah, they do like that in Vietnam. Literally spoonfuls of earwigs. Like literally, like did you see that one? There was an earwig. It was like this big, dude. Oh god, I fucking hate bugs, dude. Yeah, like not in an ewy way, but when there's that many, it's yeah. like fuck, dude. Yeah, like the video didn't do it justice. Like there was like literally like like a, probably hand like hand, like five handfuls like of like if you could go like this five times in there. No, it reminded me of this fucking video I saw of this like Vietnamese dude like swatting down like he's like in a fly storm or whatever. Uh-huh. It was. And he had like a bowl of water and he's just like swatting him down for like five minutes. He just like fills this bowl yeah. with water. He turns that into like fried bug rice. And I'm just thinking that's like your earwig. Yeah, that's like what oh, it was. That's someone's food. Like, no, for Asia, sure. Dude. No, like for sure. <laughs> yeah. And so, uh, especially with the, so anyways, shirt. none of them come in the house anymore. We'll have like one or two come in the house, but fuck yeah. You got him with the Worcestershire. Yeah. It's like fucks them up. It's good. I fucking dude. I'm someone I don't like. I don't even like killing bugs. I like don't kill spiders. Yeah, I when like, you you first moved in, you told me you were trying to just like put them back outside. Yeah, I, you can't. <laughs> just I just back fuck in. them up now, dude. I was, it was so funny. We went to light our lighter. So earwigs also the reason they're called earwigs they, they literally will d- burrow okay, in, inside of that. your ears. Fuck that. No, they'll burrow inside of your ears. So they're like they're not dangerous, but like you can't have that. Like you can't have them in your house. So dude, there was one in my Keurig. Uh-oh. So like the little Keurig, like the whole. They burrow themselves into holes. So, like, in the hole in my Keurig, there's an earwig in there. In the lighter, in the hole of the lighter, there was one that burrowed himself inside of there. So, like, I'm like, Avery's like, oh, my God, there's a fucking earwig in the lighter. So, I'm like. Barbecue earwig just. Yeah, it's like, dude. Dude. Yeah. So. You're like an earwig expert. Yeah, I, it's fucking disgusting. But, like, in a Hitler kind of way. Yeah, no. I, I Earwig holocaust. Well. When I was a kid, I used to sadistically torture bugs like all weekend long. That's what I would <laughs> you do. You were one of those kids? Yeah, I would torture bugs for just two days. I loved it. I would fuck bugs up. I always thought that was like a trope from a movie, like the kid no, I, burning. I, wow. Never like animals, but like bugs. Yeah, like, like the bugs. magnifying glass on an ant and shit. Yeah, like I would do that for like three hours, 10 hours. Ten hours. Yeah, I would just piss on an anthill and be like, they're still alive. <laughs> no, I used to, you know what I used to do? I used to dig up anthills. I used to get a massive shovel and i dig up anthills and i'd like fill it with water and like i was like torture them for like hours damn i would do dumb shit i used to get uh i used to catch caterpillars i would catch like a bowl full of caterpillars like all day and then i would get toothpicks oh shit and then i would stab the toothpicks into the ground through the caterpillar by an anthill and just watch the ants eat it alive i would do i would do that like all day seriously like dumber yeah i would do that yeah i used to like i used to like dissect uh stink bugs alive I would like cut all their limbs off and just watch them like roll around. Did you concern your mom or dad doing? I don't this? think they knew. Thank God. But th- <laughs> I guess like for bugs, there. it's normal. I guess it's normal to do it to bugs. But if it's like when it's like mammals, that's like you have like a sadistic problem. Yeah. Well, I mean, I've dude, never hurt anybody or shit. done anything. If I get a live lobster tomorrow, I'm like, I'm boiling your bitch ass alive because that's apparently how you. Yeah, do but it. I don't think you would cut its legs off and like, you know. I'd be mean, boiling it alive is pretty fucking gnarly. Well, that's why you're supposed to go like that in its head. Not if you're like one of those high level chefs. You're like, you don't even do that. That's getting like tainting the meat. I don't know, dude. Yeah. But like a lobster is just like a giant insect. Yeah. So that's not, yeah, not sadistic at all. If you do it to a puppy, bad. Bad. (laughs) Yeah. Dude, that got me. uh, Oh my fucking Christ.
just my my mind just blanked itself, dude. Your mind blanked itself. Yeah, it just it just I had a thought and then it was and then and then you had to cancel it because it's too much for no, you to handle. You were just like dommering out over there, dude. I'm like, holy shit. Yeah, no, yeah. I used to do. What what else oh, did I do? I remember. Um, I had a friend named Matt Child. <laughs> when I was little. Jesus Christ. He lived down the street from me. I had a friend whose name was Anthony Penis. <laughs> <laughs> okay. He lived with like uh, his grandpa, which is like, yeah, Normal? we're going to do yeah. fucked up shit. His grandpa had like a big old vat of, vat of black powder because he would like make his own bullets. Okay. And we lived out in the middle of the desert, literally in the middle of the desert. So we would, um, I remember we would push these rocks down these hills and there'd be like this big, like, really big hole uh -huh. left by the rock and regularly regularly we would pour gasoline uh like cardboard bunch of shit into the hole uh -huh. and then like lead it with <laughs> gunpowder and just watch it either explode because it was in like a, a hole uh -huh. or just watch it burn uh -huh. i was the dumbest fucking kid dude i would just watch dirt burn yeah well, you were yeah. dissecting. Yeah, insects. I was like learning about anatomy. You were not learning shit. Yeah, I was. Yeah, how long it takes a caterpillar to be eaten by ants? It takes a while. <laughs> it takes a while. And then what I would do, what I would do is I would dig up. Sometimes I would like dig up the ant hole to uncover the where the queen was. And then I would like. <laughs> it sounds so fucking crazy. Dude, and I would like, and then I would throw. I would throw like so like okay. You create, you're creating a crater, right? And then all of the ants are freaking out and they're like running around. The queen is exposed. They're like freaking out. And then you just throw a bunch of like, I would just throw like a bunch of potato bugs in there. Oh my God. And then just like fill it with water. Potato bugs are fucking gross looking too. Yeah. I'd find potato bugs and just fucking, yeah, I'd like cut their, their pinchers off so they couldn't fight back and just get, they would get fucked up, dude. Ants are, I love, I loved fucking with ants as a kid. Dude, I fucking hate potato bugs. We had one here at freaked me the fuck out it was this big yeah. on my screen door and all. yeah it had like the pincers i thought it was like a fucking they'll fuck you up yeah dude fuck that we killed that kill i kill that fucking thing fuck bugs yeah they don't they don't leave my house alive dude yeah dude or <laughs> unless I would you're like, cute like a yeah ladybug yeah i remember yeah that was pretty cool next yeah she was dope or like a grasshopper. I love me a grasshopper. I or a prank get, mantis. I used to get grasshoppers and rip their legs off. <laughs> now you can't make noise, yeah, bag no. <laughs> <laughs> I'd get grasshoppers and I'd rip their legs off, like their hoppers, and then I'd, 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 or I'd rip just one of them off, and I'd throw them in an anthill, <laughs> and then they would just like, hop, they'd be hopping with like ants on them, and they'd be falling off, and I'd be like, that's so cool. <laughs> and I'd just be, so cool, and I'd be like, yeah, you're getting, I wonder how long until you get fucked up. So you're kind of like an, an ant fan. I love ants. You had a regular old alien ant farm over there, huh? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I loved ants. Dude, that's wild. I just like lighting things on fire. You're a pyromaniac. Yeah, I mean, you, you didn't have a lot of choices when I was a kid. You had that and then like the other group of kids who like would ride BMX together. Dude, they're fucking weird. I remember they started like showing their penises to each other. I'm like, no. Nope. Really? Yeah, I heard about that <laughs> shit. I'm like, not hang out with Kurt anymore. That's fucking, that fucking funny. weirdo. What's with his the... last name? I don't know. He was like my sworn <laughs> enemy. Yeah. Dude, he's like one of those faces you never forget. He had like a, the perfect hair lip. He was a fucking douchebag. His dad. Yeah, you got bullied by a kid with a, ple a cleft palate. Yeah, I mean, those are kind of the kids who do the bullying. It's so fucking crazy. He was like good at dirt biking. That's like what made him cool. But like, uh, I remember his dad got out of jail. Oh, cool. For who knows what. He was out for like one week. And he was doing a wheelie down the street on a dirt bike shirtless. And he f just fell back going like 40 and just road rashed his oh whole God, fucking dude. back, dude. So funny. That's so crazy. Because his dad was also a big piece of shit. Really? Yeah. His dad was a dickhead? Yeah, dude. Small towns are fucking weird, dude. Yeah. Yeah, they are. My yeah. Michael, my brother, he had a, a friend named Bobby who was legit like Jeffrey Dahmer. His Dude, at like 11, 12 years old, this kid's favorite movie was Ravenous. Have you seen this movie? No. Ravenous is a movie in like 96, something like that. And it's like in the 1800s or something, late 1800s. And it's pretty much about how people start eating people. Mm -hmm. And I remember he was like showing my brother this movie. And I'm like four years younger. I'm like, Bobby said it's a really good movie. And I'm sitting here watching. And I'm like, this is insane. And yeah, I'm like, I guess it's like weird. Fuck, dude, and I remember he used to get, like, food thrown at him regularly by his dad. What the fuck? Always food. 
That's really weird. I don't know. Just, That's why he liked ravenous. <laughs> he wanted to eat his dad. That's why he wanted to cannibal his father. Hey, I got a good joke we're going to do. I got a good joke. Michael, I'm going to eat my father. I'm going to eat my dad. <laughs> I want to fucking eat my dad. I was on live stream the other day and I and I was I, I played some Bam Marchera clips. Hell yeah. And everyone was like, yeah, it was funny. It, the comments were like, watching this in hindsight, like Bam was fucked up. Like how did he even, he was crazy. Yeah, I don't think he's got a relapse left in him, dude. He's be, He better watch it this time. Uh, He might have one in him. <laughs> he might have he one. Might. Everyone's got one in him. All right, peace. Rockstar. That's an hour, baby. Patreon.com slash duhheads. To you. Weird. It's Anytime weird. you bring up something that's super wrong, weird. I never do that shit to you. I'm like, oh, dude, I've been doing this for this long. I don't fucking. Uh. We literally, never literally three episodes ago, we had a massive fight, and that's all you did was was uh fucking grandstand about how you played bass for 13 years. Because I get true. zero credit for anything I've done because.